Good morning, Southeast Texas. Another warm and quiet day in the books for us as we reach the 70s yet again ahead of our next major weather event. Headed into New Year's Eve, we have that low pressure that's going to drive up the coastline here and towards the afternoon it's going to bring us some heavy showers as that front moves through our region off towards the east. That's going to bring us a round of thunderstorms and some damaging winds. Right now models are showing 40 miles per hour already. Now uh, damaging winds reach up to 60 miles per hour, so that could change. Those winds could become pretty gusty as this system tracks off towards the east. Looks like by 7 p.m. on New Year's Eve, it clears out more of a drier forecast for our celebratory festivities welcoming in the new year. Now it's still pretty early, so this could change as uh, there are some models that are showing this rain lingering into New Year's Day. So right now we're going to go with about an inch of rainfall. Euro and GFS are agreeing right now. Um, and then the high resolution modeling is showing the system off towards our east by the afternoon on Thursday. So we're going to go with one to three inches of rain, four to five possible as we head into this weekend. Slight risk for severe weather and that's because of those winds. We're going to go with a medium here and because of those windy conditions, isolated tornadoes are possible throughout the area. Hail and flooding is minor and expect warm days for the next several days into Thursday. Low temperatures about 20 degrees above that normal of 43. And then as that system moves through, we are dipping back down to below normal conditions going to be greeting the 30s once again, no higher than the 50s for those high temperatures. Current conditions right now 56 degrees in Port Arthur 59 and Beaumont 54 up in Jasper 53 and Woodville across the state. Warmer conditions as a warm front is continuing to drive up north a bit cooler up towards the panhandle 33 in Amarillo right now. So we are seeing that warm front. It will continue to move up north and take some of those light showers that we're seeing towards Dallas with it, but we will We'll be seeing some increasing cloudiness throughout today to get us prepared for some of those showers headed into tomorrow. Area of low pressure off coming out of California near Nevada, moving into Arizona. That's going to uh, make its way east southeast into Mexico, and then it's going to loop around into Texas, and that's what's going to bring us our severe weather on New Year's Eve. But headed into today, quiet weather pattern out there. We are going to see partly cloudy skies reaching up to the 70s by the afternoon. Late afternoon cloudiness starts to pick up into the evening so expect some warm and um humid conditions. Breezes are going to start to pick up 7, 15 miles per hour. Gusts could reach up to 20 as we head into tonight. Expect a warmer night, low 60s, upper 50s towards the lakes area, and those breezes will become pretty gusty headed into Wednesday. That's going to bring us our first round of some showers, 70% coverage on Wednesday ahead of that front. That's going to come through on New Year's Eve. That's going to bring us severe weather, thunderstorms, damaging winds, heavy rainfall, and hopefully it'll clear up by the nighttime. But New Year's Day is looking gorgeous. And on our first weekend of the new year, we're dipping back down into the 30s.